I'm Amanda. And I'm Eddie. And we're Hat Valley Ever After. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about traveling tips and tricks for bringing your kids on vacation. Um, car, train, airplane, it gets extremely overwhelming at times. So we are here to help you out and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we are going to talk about is packing for your trip. Um, with kids, you at least we tend to bring more than what we need because we don't know what we need. Um, make sure you pack for the weather of where you're going. If you're going to Disney World and your hotel resort has a pool, bring water shoes, bring sneakers for the park. An umbrella. An umbrella or a rain poncho that yeah. can fold up in your bag. Because if you don't, you just spend like $50 on one at the store. Yeah. Or one of the shops. For all of you, it's it gets pretty expensive. Yes. Um, so make sure you're bringing that. Make sure you're bringing backpacks to hold your stuff in. Bring sweatshirts in case it gets cold at night. I'm bringing a fanny pack next time. <laughs> he is bringing a fanny pack. I'm going to shoulder strap it though. I'm shoulder strapping. <laughs> and I'm going to bring one of our lounge flies that you guys saw in one of our previous videos. If you haven't seen that lounge fly review video, make sure you check that out. Um, but back to our packing. So... Another thing that I love to bring for the kids is matching pajamas. <laughs> for everybody. Everybody. I'm not even kidding. We like, well, I like to give them all matching PJs and I like to take their cute little pictures and they're just so cute. So if you want to do local theme parks, we have three Six Flags near us. We have New England, New Jersey, and Lake George. We have not been to New England yet. That's going to be our first stop uh, this upcoming season. April 2nd. Yep. Uh, water shoes, how Amanda said earlier, water shoes. I mean, really think it's a great idea. I just You're safer. You don't know what's in that pool. You know, just God forbid anything bad happens. At least you have water shoes. Your book bags are going to fill up really fast. You know, you have the carnival games and even the small prizes are not small. <laughs> you know, I think the smallest prize you're going to get is like a hat, right? Uh, they have like little, maybe this big. Because I feel like Dean animals. won a hat. Yeah, he And that was like the, the smallest thing. It depends on the game. Mm. Well, either way, like choose your bag wisely because it really is going to fill up. Not to mention everything that you bring with you. You know, if you're a member, you have your refillable cup. Mm -hmm. It's You're not going to carry it around all day. Sounds Carabiners mean. are great too. Carabiners, you can hang off the straps of your backpack. Or in my case, this upcoming season, my fanny pack. <laughs> Super cool fanny pack, though. Yes, universal, <laughs> retro, pretty cool. Um, do make sure that you are wearing comfortable shoes because those parks are big as well. Um, you don't want, you know, not only you, but your kids coming to you. My feet hurt after, you know. Walking around for walking six around hours. <laughs> um, bring sunglasses if you like sunglasses. Wear your hat if you like your hat. There's not a lot of shade in the park, so sunscreen. sunscreen is very important. Um, and again, dress for the time of year, the place, you know, that you're going to be. There are six flags all around the country, so I'm sure some are hot all year round. Some, like, around us, we have the cooler months as well. So pack, pack for your weather, pack for your location, and you'll be good to go. So a trick that I do want to share with you guys, if you are in Epcot in Disney World and your kids are starting to, you know, get a little cranky, you've been there a while, it's really hot, they're hungry, their feet hurt. If you are near Morocco, go check it out. To your left at the entrance, there's a door. It looks like it doesn't open, but if you try to open that door, you'll find that that is actually a gallery and not a lot of people know about it. So it's a good place to go in there, kind of hang out, relax, cool off, take a break. That's really nice in there. It is. Epcot. As is everything in Morocco. Very... Everything's very pretty and artistic. <laughs> yeah. So I like it. I like Morocco too. I actually... I like all the countries. I have to say my favorite one is probably Germany, just because I love the beer garden restaurant. <laughs> I'm biased. I love Germany. All my buddies took me there for my bachelor party. We went to Oktoberfest. An amazing, amazing time. But if I had to say my absolute favorite spot in Epcot, I'm going to have to be a copycat and say Germany. Twinsies! Really, though? Wait. 
Um, another thing I do want to share with you guys is I personally think if you have young kids and you need a stroller, it is so much easier to just bring your own instead of renting it from Disney, renting it from the hotel or wherever you're going to rent it from. It's so much easier to just bring your own. You can have it in the airport, wheel your toddler around instead of chasing them around. And also, you know that your child is comfortable in that stroller because you use it constantly. And you also know how much room is down in that bottom basket. So you know what you can fit in there, what you can't fit in there. It's just easier. You already know how to fold it, unfold it. So when you use the transportation, it's not like, let me figure out how to fold this stroller. It's just so much easier. And when it comes to adults and kids, comfort is key. Mm -hmm. Another tip I do want to share with you guys is if you're staying in a hotel or even honestly Airbnb, you could do it. Um, it's really convenient to do an Amazon Fresh delivery or an Instacart delivery. Very. Um, get some groceries to where you're staying, maybe save some money on breakfast. Uh, save some money, get your coffees, coffee Gatorade creamer, zeros. Gatorade Zeros for this one. <laughs> um, also, if you end up forgetting anything, um, you know, that you didn't pack from home or you are only bringing on a carry-on to the airplane and you can't bring on, you know, full-size certain products that you guys may need, you can order that through your Amazon or your Instacart and it will be there that same day. I want to bring up a big B word to you guys right now. Do you know what that word is? I probably can't say it on camera. Budget. Budget, budget, budget. It is so important to budget, especially like us when you have four children. Two children even can be extremely expensive. Budget for your kids. They are going to want every single thing in every single store that they go into. That is not even a question. So, Me too. <laughs> yeah, us too. <laughs> but we're different. Uh, <laughs> um, budget for your kids. Let them know ahead of time, hey, you have X amount of money to spend on this trip. Once you spend it, that's gone. So now maybe while they're shopping in those stores, they're going to be a little bit more, you know, cautious. cautious and thinking, do I really want this? Do I, am I going to use this when we get home? If not, they're going to put it back down. If they are, that might be what they decide to spend their money on. But let them know when, when your money's gone, it's gone. That'll save you a ton of money by doing that and setting your budget um, for, your, for your trip. For everybody, not even just your kids. Set it for yourself as well. And it's a learning experience. Teach us mm -hmm. you know, a little bit of responsibility even while you're away on vacation having fun. Yeah, exactly. So that's all we have for you today. Um, I hope that some of our tips and the couple of tricks we gave you will help you on your next vacation with your children. You want to say anything? Have fun. <laughs> Don't take it too seriously. Just enjoy yourself as a vacation. Be crazy. Yeah. Good crazy though. <laughs> Nothing like bad crazy. All right. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, leave us a comment down there, any tips, tricks that you have for us and anybody else. And hit that subscribe button so that you know when we have new videos. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Hey guys, don't forget to watch the rest of our videos and subscribe to our channel. Bye.